Got dreams of being a professional podcaster, but have no idea what you're doing? This is impossible. That's about to change. A new kind of school. Welcome to the Pod School Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the final episode of 2020 for this podcast. Oh, it's so sad, but my goodness, didn't this year go quick? And what a year. I mean, what a bin fire of a year in so many ways. I truly hope that you are not crawling to the end, that you've gotten to the end and you're like, I've survived. I am a phoenix rising from the ashes and next year is going to be excellent. Good Lord, it better be. My goodness, so much crap has happened this year, but we are still together and that is the main thing. For the final show of the year, I thought I would give a little advice on why you shouldn't podcast. (laughs) You might be listening to this show to get some help to improve the quality of your current show. You might also be listening because you want to do a podcast, but you're not sure how to go about it and you're not really ready yet. So this is going to be quite helpful for you because I think there are often times when people are podcasting for the wrong reasons. And in my opinion, that's usually a recipe for failure. And I really don't think that you should jump into podcasting unless you are fully equipped and ready. You don't need to be an expert in the space by any means, but that's what this show and my online podcasting course is all about, is making sure that you have a realistic expectation of what is expected and involved, and also that you've put some real thought and effort into your ideas so that you've got a great chance of success because there's nothing that sucks harder than jumping into something you're really passionate about and then it doesn't work and then you think it's my fault it's not your fault sometimes you just haven't done the due diligence which maybe means it's your fault but there is light at the end of the tunnel. So if you want a podcast, I wanted to go through some of the questions you should ask yourself. And if it is not right for you now, don't think that's not right forever. It might just mean that now is not the time and you're better placed to give yourself a bit of space to come up with a better idea or to wait until you've got the time that is required to dedicate to the project and then jump in. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is, am I doing this for my ego or an audience? Oh, this is a mistake I see. A lot of people make when you can tell that the only reason that they are doing a podcast is because they think they are excellent on a microphone and they haven't thought at all about whether the content that they're creating is something that anybody wants to listen to. If you want your show to be a success, you have to be listener first. You have to think about your ideal listener, create content for them, think about what's the best way to deliver this, what's the best format, what's the best length, how can I best execute this idea, how could I tweak it to make sure that it's something that they'll find really useful, engaging, informative, entertaining. It doesn't need to be something that somebody's going to learn from. It could just be something that is a comedy podcast that just gives them a laugh but they have to be getting something in exchange for their ears. If you are just doing it because you think this is the way to get famous, ooh-wee, I would pull the reins on that idea and back the old horse right up because it's going to be a long (laughs) wait until you get to that point. To be famous and to be successful in podcasting, you have to have an audience, and that means that you have to be creating content that people will actually want to listen to, so that is so important. The second question to ask yourself is, do I really really know what I'm getting into. A lot of podcasts fade out. The number of podcasts out there are over a million, but the majority of those aren't releasing active episodes because most people get about seven, 10 episodes in and think, oh, this is a heck of a lot of work and nobody told me that. So again, this podcast and my online podcasting course is all about setting you up to have a real understanding of how much time it takes because podcasting isn't just sitting down in front of a microphone for however long your episode goes for. It's about preparation, guest booking, research, editing, cutting up all your stuff into social media content, sharing your content consistently. You have got to chip away at it really, really consistently, turn up every single week, make the appointment with your listener that you said you were going to make. And over time, you will build an audience and a community that you might one day maybe be able to monetize. But to get to that point, my goodness, you've got to dedicate a lot of time and effort. Some of the shows that I've done would take me five hours just to edit. So a lot of podcasts, you will be spending over 10 hours of your week if you are doing things properly to really get it up and happening and probably significantly more than that. So it's not a I'll shove this into two hours before I go and get drinks on a Sunday kind of project. You have to be really committed and understand exactly how much time this is 
is going to take. And that might mean that you need to readjust your expectations or wait until you can kind of have the time to do it. Or alternatively, maybe batch record episodes ahead of time and then get to a point where you've got enough in the can that you can release them so that you can make that weekly appointment with your audience because that's really important. The next question is, am I doing this because I think it's a way to make money? If you are thinking, I'm going to start a podcast and leave my job, don't stop (laughs) and delete on that letter of resignation because it takes a long time to monetize a podcast and it is not easy. You have to have an audience for a start. That is what you are monetizing, an engaged audience that loves your content. That does not happen overnight. That takes a lot of community building, a lot of sharing your show, a lot of promotion, a lot of turning up and delivering high quality content consistently, it is not an easy task. And then finding sponsors, keeping sponsors, making sure that you get that balance between sponsorship and content right. All of the stuff that goes into monetization is a lot of work and it is not a simple thing to monetize a podcast. It is more likely that it will be a passion project for you and it might have other benefits that are content and creative related, but money is probably not going to come from your podcast, not because I don't think you're excellent, but because it is the minority of podcasts that are making money, definitely not the majority. You can absolutely monetize your podcast for sure, but if that is the main reason you're going into it, then that's problematic. You have to really be passionate about the content, know you've got a great idea that will serve an audience. And then money is the cherry on top because the content needs to be the thing that's driving you and then everything after that is a bonus. Finally, the question I would ask is, am I doing this because I think I should? The podcasting bandwagon has been rolling through town for a while and everybody thinks they need to jump on the back of it. I have a lot of people come to me wanting to create a podcast and they either don't have an idea, the idea is just that I want a podcast and that's never going to be a success because you need a really solid idea to connect with an audience and to make a show that makes people want to come back. But also sometimes people will come to me with an idea and my response is that is better as video. Not everybody has a great audio idea. Some things can turn into audio beautifully and can make a brilliant podcast. Sometimes you can have a great video idea and you can change that and shuffle it to make it a great podcast idea. That is possible as well. But think critically about the idea that you've got and work out, actually, is this a better video series? Should I do this on Facebook video? Should I do it? on YouTube? Is there another way to do the content that would suit the content better? Because ideally you need to think about what best serves your content and what would be best for your audience. So you might not have a podcast idea yet um, and you might not have a podcast idea at all and that's fine. Do not just start a podcast because everybody else is because that will not be the attitude that you need to keep on trucking when the audience isn't coming and you're thinking this is quite the slog. You need to be passionate about it to stick around. And if you're just doing it because everybody else is, then that's not enough passion to put in the effort required to make it a success. Of course, if you haven't got a podcast idea that works right now, that doesn't mean you won't ever have that idea. Sometimes ideas need to percolate. I've had some ideas that have sat in the back of my head for years before I've executed on them, not because I couldn't be bothered getting it together, but because they just weren't right yet. And I think it's worth taking the time and really percolating on something until you get to the point where you're like, yes, this is it. I know that an audience is going to love this. I've hit on this idea. I'm really passionate about it because those ideas are the ones that will stand the test of time. Those are the ideas that are much easier to turn up for each week because you are really interested and engaged in what you're doing. So don't be so hard on yourself if you can't come up with something really quickly or if you want to get started and you think the bandwagon is going to leave you behind. It's not. There is still time. Everybody keeps saying we are just at the beginning of this podcasting thing. So just give yourself the space to come up with the right idea because then when you do get started, you will be much more likely to make it a success. And that is the main thing because we want your show to be a success. Right. That is it. We have wrapped up for 2020. 
you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful end of year break. As I mentioned, if you have had a tough year this year, I really wish you all the best for 2021 because I know it has been a difficult one for many. Thank you so much again for sticking with me on this show, for turning up, for listening each week. I hope you have found the tips helpful and useful and that you are implementing them on your show or that they are helping you come up with the right idea for your podcast. If you have been enjoying the show, please leave a little review in Apple Podcasts if you can and share it with anybody who might find it helpful with their podcast streams. I will see you next year for more episodes of this podcast. Thank you again so much for your support and happy podcasting. That's all for today. 